way uh, that seems right unto man and the end of it is death and it will end up in hell uh, but there's a call ringing out tonight it's been ringing from Calvary over 2,000 years ago and he's saying come unto me and I will give you rest thank God tonight answer that call friend answer that call Somebody needs to hear this. I feel that in my spirit. Somebody the Lord's been dealing with you and you've been turning him away and you've been turning him away. A friend, tonight is your night. You need to answer that call. You need to open the door and let Jesus come in. Amen. Don't turn him away. Don't turn him away. He's saying, follow me. You need to follow him. Do just like Eli told Samuel. If he's calling, just say, Lord, here your servant hears. Your servant hears you. Amen. Oh, Lord, tonight, answer that call, friend. Don't turn him away. Amen. Don't turn him away. Jesus said, follow me. Amen. And they left everything they had and they began to follow him. Is he calling to you tonight? Is there something inside your heart talking to you, telling you you need to change your ways, telling you there's a better life? Come on, brother. Telling you you don't have to stay in misery. Come on, Pastor. Telling you you don't have to be brokenhearted. Amen, brother. There's a friend tonight greater than any friend on earth you could ever have. Amen. Oh, Jesus said, they Queen of Sheba come to hear the wisdom of Solomon. But he said, I'm telling you one greater than Solomon's here. There's one tonight greater than any man calling to you. Greater than any man on this earth calling you. Oh, I thought these people... They'll win a national championship or they'll win the World Series or the Super Bowl and and the president will call them and they're so happy to get that call from the president. It makes them feel special and it makes them feel, amen, uh, uh, like they're somebody. But I read where Jesus said many are called but few are chosen. Uh, Tonight they're turning that call away. They're like people at the market marketplace. Uh, we piped, but you've not danced. Uh, don't turn the call away tonight. Answer the call of Jesus Christ. He's knocking at your heart's door. You need to open up and let him in tonight. You may say, preacher, I don't even know how to pray. All you need to know is, Father, uh, forgive me. I want to make a change. You don't have to confess every sin you ever committed. Hey, nobody could be able to do that. Uh, But you just got to say, Father, forgive me. And every sin you've ever committed will be cast into the depths of the sea as far as the east is from the west. And who the sun sets free, he's free indeed tonight. Answer the call, friend. Answer the call. Blind Bartimaeus, we're getting ready to go back to the singer's was sitting by the wayside begging. (laughs) Amen. And long he heard Jesus was coming. And he began to call out, Lord, have mercy on me. They began to try to tell him to hold his peace, but he cried out louder, Lord, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped and called for him. And they come to him and they said, the Lord, the master, he's calling for you. (laughs) He's calling for you. I'm telling you tonight, he's calling for you. You may be blind, like a blind man groping for the wall, but friend, there's sight in Jesus. Sight in Jesus. Paul gave his testimony to the king. He told him about Jesus coming to him, a light brighter than the noonday sun, how he was blinded and how that God helped him to see. Amen. Friend, that call tonight is coming to you. Don't turn it away. This is for somebody out there tonight. Maybe on the radio, 
You may be in the jail. You may be in the hospital. You may be at your house. I don't know where you're at. Amen. But he, God has no respect to person. He's calling for you tonight.